But first, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows hits theaters in a few weeks, and we had a chance to talk to the two megastars from the film, Arrow's Stephen Amell and Megan Fox. Gear up, guys. Here we go! Cowabunga! Casey Jones, uh, looks like a real fun character. Yeah, he is fun, man. And uh, look, I would have been in for Casey Jones even if Casey Jones wasn't fun. But it was fun as, as not only uh, an opportunity to join such an amazing franchise, but also as a juxtaposition to how I spend the other nine and a half months of, out of the year. Hey, fellas! What's your name? Casey Jones. Hey. But you're still sort of playing I guess I can say badass guy on on the, on the screen, right? I mean. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Case, no, he's he's a total badass. Got a yeah. badass car. He wears <laughs> cool boots that I, I like enjoyed wearing as Casey Jones, but would never wear in real life. He plays hockey. Yeah. Like there's a lot there's a lot going on there. I think. It's funny because uh, when I was a kid, uh, Friday the Thirteenth, Jason takes Manhattan. Like yes. Movie, right? Do you remember? And Jason was walking through the streets of New York with a hockey mask. That's right. You were doing a much kinder, gentler version of that. Well, this is a family film. Leonardo's got some swords and stuff like that, and the bow staff, and and you know, turtles have some weapons. They just use them differently than Jason did. In yeah. Friday the Thirteenth. If you uh, had the opportunity to do any other genre, like, uh, is there a romantic comedy coming in your future? Yeah, you know, I hope. I, I wouldn't necessarily put a put a romantic comedy in front of it, but maybe maybe a comedy. I'm a big fan of the movie The Kids Are All Right, right? And I think that that straddles the line nicely between. Obviously, it has some comedic elements. Maybe not the straight romantic comedy. Although I definitely have one in me at some point. I do think. you? I do. Uh, so you're directing it, you're producing it, you're writing it right now, just right now. Who's your leading lady, and, and what's the plot? Oh God! I know. You're gonna that's, get I, me that's a tough one. Huge amounts of trouble. Here at the CW, perhaps you've heard of it. Yes. We ask the tough questions. Um, who? Uh, boy, Rose Byrne. Oh, bless her. Oh, bless her. Yeah. Oh, bless her. I love her. Indeed. Yeah. Are you right? Move, and I will kill you. We've got a show. It's called Arrow. Really? You look a little bit like the guy that plays Arrow. How would you recognize me with my shirt on? There are some viewer questions. One of them said, what can we expect in Arrow season finale? You know, I did a tease when I was being interviewed by Larry King, and I'm just gonna, he said, give me three words to describe the finale, and my answer was, where'd everybody go? Oh, I like that. Thank you. So what adventures will April find herself in this film? Oh, she gets herself into so much trouble. Um, she's, the opening of the movie, she's sort of tracking down Baxter Stockman because she suspects that he has some sort of business with Shredder and tries to take that information back to the turtles, but meanwhile gets rescued by Casey Jones, ends up at one point getting arrested. Busy lady this yeah. time around. Yeah. So Casey Jones, got yourself a little love interest? I guess so. There's supposed to be a sparkle there, but it's a kids movie and it's about turtles and right. we're, not, we're not following like a human romance. So it's just a lot of like handshaking and fist bumping. <laughs> right, a lot of bros. Hey stuff. you. Yeah. yeah. Right, that kind of thing. You know, I was thinking about sequels and turtles live to like a hundred. Yeah. There could be a lot of sequels well, in Well, especially these because they're like perennial teenagers. They never even get out of being, they're yeah. all like permanently 16. So, so we'll come back for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles part 64, you know. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be in that movie. You never know. I'll most likely be dead by the time they make 64 of these. If there's a chance that it make us human, we're turtles. Whether you like it or not. Okay, uh, if you'll permit me, I want to ask you what's hopefully a fun question. Okay. Who would win in a fight? Megan Fox, Vivica Fox, or an actual fox? I am going to have to go with an actual fox who's trained to survive in the wild and will do anything uh, in a flight or flight circumstance. Would you Vivica come in may be place? super tough though, but definitely not me. No, I come in last. Yeah. Yeah, I have no fighting skills. I may fight, flight, or freeze. I'm a freeze. Give me the worst pickup line anyone has ever said on you involving your last name. I've never had pickup lines. I've been dating Brian since I was 18. Yeah, that's true. That's I was true. never out on the town dating dating around. And then other people I met were always on set 
and actors are way too cool to throw pickup lines at you. Well, they so. just like drive by in their Maseratis? Or well, no, they just act like they don't care and they wait for you to show any sort of affection. Is that, does that work? Because um, if so, I might want to start thinking about doing that myself, <laughs> you know? I think, yeah, I think it's better to just not, not be cool or, you know, be rude, but I think it's good to just be like, be friendly and mind your own business and yeah. let a girl decide she likes you. Well, you know what? I had a good time. Whatever. This was fine. <laughs> it no, was all right. That's not at all what I said. You I don't know. take direction at all. I know, which is why I'm single You're a terrible at my age. Actor. I'm the worst. <laughs> yeah. Listen, so great talking to you, and you. Uh, we'll see you for Ninja Turtles Part 64. Thank you. Yeah. Can't all right. Wait. Look forward to it. Bring it back to Mohawk. Good for you. <laughs>